Yeah, mate. Oh, first I must say, a big um, shout to my wife. Love my wife. The love of my life. Yeah, okay, mate. First thing I got to say, a shout out to my wife. The love of my wife. My love of my life. Uh, my anniversary today. 29 years been married. And my wife's given me six kids. Four girls, two boys. Last two were twins. Twin boy and twin girl. Um, yeah, it's been a long time, but 29 years, guys, it's a long time, so she brought up my madness the way I do stuff and my health problems and all that. But yeah, big shout out to my wife. We can go to the pub tonight and have a pub meal. Um, sorry, guys, it's clear here. Um, I have something to eat, but um, today I want to do this before I go out. So it's getting running late, so. Um, I'm going to do the, the cannon muffler now. I'll show you the inside of the muffler and what that looks like. And you see, that's the inside of a, a MS660. Now, normally they've got little holes like that. Bring in. No little holes like that, both sides and also that side there. Also at the bottom. Now, I've opened the bottom up. And you see, I threw the holes where I haven't gone any higher. But I didn't want to go all the way to the bottom. That I mentioned to go for the bottom too much. I haven't um, damaged it at all. But we'll see how she sounds. Now, I've got um, a standard muffler with a can outlet on the floor right now. So, I'll show you that. The outlet thing. But I want it quiet, so not noisy, but quiet. So I'll try this first with a standard inside muffler and see how she goes. Then I'll do a couple with the um, opened up muffler, that one there, with that can on there. And the guy asked a question, so I thought I'll do it. I'll then put the standard cover back on, which is that part with the open one, with this open one, just to see how it performs, if there's any difference. It might be a total waste of time having this pipe here. It might be just that opening up the part there. But with this um, part, with this part here, having that little lip, and that little lip just there, it's like putting your hand out and cupping water when you when you swing. And I want to catch it. I want to catch the sound waves, but not the exhaust. So I want the exhaust to get, but I want the sound waves to be hooked and throw the sound waves back towards the motor. But we'll see if it works. So I'll get ready and we'll do some cutting. Now at the moment, that's all there's running eight, eight, um, two, four, four, four chain. Uh, when I'm finished, I'll get the best muffler and all that. I'll then switch, switch it over to a seven two, which I've got here. I got a 7 2, 4 I'll 4. I switch it to that and see how it performs. But I really think this thing needs a timing advance with this big cylinder. It just doesn't have the high rev that I expect. It just, it's good, but it's not good. I've already uh, put um, JB Wall in the intake, so she's running at 80, uh, 81 degrees. Towing duration on this thing, 162. But um, we'll just see how this muffler makes it perform or it makes it make, make it be a real dog. All right, guys, let's do this. There you go, warmed up. Change the inside of the muffler. Change the inside of that muffler and put the sock stand in front on the muffler and I'll end up with this chicken at the last bit of So I'm gonna go change it over now. Uh, heavy, heavy, heavy. Heavy, big thing. 
Oh, that was fun. So I pulled out the factory exhaust. So that's a factory one. It's um, got holes down there. Into the holes. Now I pulled, I got the one there where I cut the holes out. That's actually on the saw now. And I pulled off the cannon muffler. So it's stock stand. And baffles pipe being removed the back one. That's been pulled out. Now we'll see if she goes. I'm going to fish on this one. I'll put the cannon back on there. And lock tight everything up. I lock tight the bolts are going into the muffler. This is my saw. All lock tight that belt, that screw there is about stripped out on the actual head. So I've got a spare one if I can't do it up tight. Pretty well. I think it will actually. If I can't do it up tight, I'll use a spare one. But I'll start up warmer up and so I'll get back and we'll cut the same log. Get back up here. That girl there. Here we go. Muffle back on now. Let's see if she works. <sighs> Her cannon next. So keep you up to date. So uh, that's the standard internal muffler. That's off now. The X1, the one that opens up that on there. Now the cannon muffler's on there now. I pull the stand off the front. So we'll see how she cuts. Now I was going to lock tight these bolts, but I decided not to. I thought if it works good, I think it will. I'm gonna paint this. I'm gonna paint this and make it go well. Oh, look at it. It's not myself bleeding. Right, time to do some cutting. Back on the same log, I think. I think I was cutting uh, through two logs. I've looked at the video. Up there, I think. No, it wasn't. I missed it. Uh, well, as I cut through two, as I do one. Can't help it, that's a two of the time. I've got this ear off. Take any power through here, so I'll cut, cut, cut. Do a cut through here. This is still eight tooth. Oh, this will be uh, seven tooth. Let's see how she goes. Seven tooth make a really spin, spin, spin but... Another go with the eight. The eight should go good. So listen to the exhaust note. The exhaust note will be different. It should be heaps different. It's facing your way so you'll hear it more. I'll warm it up. Yeah, it's different. <laughs> the mixtures on that carving all it's still running the same mixture from the first cut to now it's still the same
Det är allt så dåligt, nigga. Jag är över då, 7000 tror jag. 7000! Jag är över då, jag kan fylla det i power. Way, way more than Zipia. Way more than Zipia. Right, 7000 tror jag är in there. I now have my screwdriver. So if I have to tune her, I will. Uh, the muffler is still the same, all that. It's still a uh, cannon muffler, and the gas is still um, going to down. So, uh, the only thing that changes is the 7.2 drive. Now, the water bed is cutting a bit short. That was up there. So, I'll go this one here. That should work out. Plenty of room for me to move around. You got one behind me, too, so I could probably do that, too. That, yeah, that'd be right. A two to cut. I'll go down there. And I should be ready to run now. I'll we'll start the throw up and walk over there. Pain in the ass what's here. It's always quite easy to walk on, guys. Not easy at all. If you're new to the channel, I've had a stroke. I've had back surgery. Stuff like this. It's not easy, but don't give up. As I said, I've been married for 29 years. You gotta work at it and never give up. Never, never say my way or the highway. You have to work it out and be nice to each other. Then you do, you have a long, long happy life here. So. But you heard over there, this hard stuff, but that sand here is no good for your sore either. That's from white ants. I bumped it up, throw away, real quick. Anyway, I'm going to be uh, milk my wife for uh, my anniversary. That's something to eat. Chicken parmesan, I think. Alright guys, as usual, thank you for watching and listening to my rambling. I'm trying to get down this hole now. I'll show you what's here. All the stuff down here. I have to walk through all these lumps and bumps and stuff. Alright guys. Say goodbye Knee Tech. That was fun. <laughs>